Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm back with another video, and today, oh my gosh, we I posted so many videos. I woke up late, and then I was like, oh shoot, it's Wednesday. Let me just double check and see if there's some more packs. And of course, there are some more packs here in WWE 2K22. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, because uh, we do WWE My Faction content all, all year long. Man, we've been the most consistent out here. So if you guys don't want to miss a single pack opening or anything, make sure you guys just subscribe to the channel and you guys will get all the information you guys need, all right? Anyways, let's get let's just get started. So this is a Survivor Series pack, uh, Survivor Series uh, locker code that you guys can redeem right now. Make sure you guys redeem it. Uh, you guys get a free two packs. And um, I got nothing. I, got, I think I got one Ruby, uh, Happy Corbin, but I like I can't remember the other packs, but... You know, it's whatever. It's just it's it's free packs though, so I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? And then we also have these Survivor Series War Games packs, which we're about to go and check out right now, man. Shout out to Debug NFT out on Twitter as well because he did show these packs off early before they got announced, and here they are. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at them, see what we get, and uh, it's pretty cool. Not that many cards because. It is a pay-per-view, and for some reason, when we get pay-per-views, the packs, you know, they don't have a lot of, you know, card options in them, which is good because if you can just pull these cards, you'll get a 99 Randy Orton, which we will take a look at in just a second, and we're going to take a look at all the badges and everything as well. I'm really excited for that Randy Orton. I'm pretty sure that card is going to be absolutely insane, and this is our first ever Diamond Roman Reigns as well, a 93 overall. Can't wait to check out that and we get another undertaker as well and we get an aj styles bianca belair ultimate warrior we'll check out uh, i guess we'll check out their stats as well just because they do get the evil into a diamond as well so let's go ahead and take a look at these cards man i'm definitely excited to take a look at them uh let's see where is it at where is it at where is that here it is here it is survivor series and um yeah you get this 99 overall randy orton card that is sick. That is sick, man. I Let me know. I know a lot of you guys are going to be opening up these packs. Keep sending them on Twitter. I love to see what you guys pull and everything. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow me out on Twitter as well. So make sure you guys tag me on any post you guys post regarding WWE. Go ahead, do it. Uh, let me know what you guys got in the packs, all right? So let's take a look at the Bianca Belair first. You know what I'm saying? Um, so... Let's see. Now, I'm, uh, her Amethyst card is decent, but I just don't like her animation. So, this this card so far, what I'm looking at, it looks all right. It looks it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It, it's 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 a pretty good Amethyst card, but her animations in itself are what makes this card weaker. Now, the only thing that can make this card better is if they sped up the animations because she turns into a diamond. That's the only good thing. That would be the only good thing about this card. Her badges are really good as well, but it just depends on how her animations are. If she has faster animations, then this card is a W. Because I, I I can't remember if it's her signature or finisher. It always gets reversed. I don't know. I I can't remember. It's been a while since I used her card, but that's a decent that's a decent card. That's a decent card. Ultimate Warrior, good grappling offense. Uh, pretty decent overall. 83 finisher, not bad. Um, I like I said, I wish we could see what the stats look like once he turns into a diamond. But if you guys pull this card and you guys get the diamond, let me know what the stats look like. Uh, let's see, a 78 pin escape. I mean, it's a decent card. It's a it's another amethyst card. Um, he has he already has an amethyst card, so I have to see if this one's better or the original one's better. But um, his badges are all right as well. It's a whatever card. This is the card. Like, if you're looking for a diamond card or uh, amethyst card in these packs, I would go with anybody other than Ultimate Warrior, honestly, because his badges are whatever. But, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the two diamond cards now, Undertaker and Roman Reigns. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at that dope Randy Orton. So here's the Undertaker. That image on him, it looks sick as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. 83 arm power, 83 grapple offense. Really cool. Pretty good. Pin escape, 94. 68 stamina? Come on. How are you going to give Undertaker a 68 stamina? He at least deserves, like, 
I don't know, like, 85? I don't know. But anyways, 94 is really good. 94 finisher, when you use the manager, it'll probably be a 99. 88 special, which is really good, really good. 83 recovery, uh, and is there anything else? 83 strength, pretty cool. His durability is really good too, so he's going to be able to take a lot of hits. And uh, let's take a look at these badges. And his badges are good for when you're trying to get finishers and signatures. But other than that, when it comes to just normal combat, uh, you're not going to really get the best, you know, results from that. I mean, the heavy-handed is dope, but I wish he had, you know, the, the more top-tier badges. But this, this card is definitely Jack-approved. It's definitely approved by Jack. This card is definitely a card you should go for because his gameplay is going to be absolutely in sick. So uh, let's, uh, insane. I said sick, but whatever, same thing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Roman Reigns. Another dope image right here by Roman Reigns. 93 overall, a 91 arm power, 96 running offense, 80, bro, this card already looks insane. Eight, bro, what cards have you seen have good arm power, leg power, running offense, and grappling offense? What card? This card already off rip is already looking insane. Body durability is 91, 86 pin escape, 86 stamina, 76 movement speed, which is not bad, especially since he's a heavyweight uh, powerhouse. So that's not bad at all. 81 recovery, 86 strength, 86 special, 94, and I'm 91 finishing finisher move. That this card is dope. Whoa. This card is definitely a W. This is definitely the best card so far. So this is better than The Undertaker. So before we look at the batches, if you're trying to open up these packs, you want to go for aim for Roman Reigns, then you want to get Undertaker, then you know you can go for the rest, obviously. But this card is sick. This card is sick. Let's take a look at the badges. Yet again, his badges aren't insane because they will give him his finisher faster and yes, they will stun his opponents a bit more and stuff. But when it comes to like having um, uh, Space Invader and Sting Like a Bee, his miss he's missing those key badges. If he had those badges, this card would be absolutely insane. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this Randy Orton card right here, which we will see where he's at. Wait, I'm on the wrong thing. I'm on the wrong thing? No, he should be... Wait, no, no, no. Where would he be at? Uh, packs? No, it's not there. No. I'm kind of lost right now. Wait a minute. Where would this, where would this card be again? Because we can't see him here. Um... Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, wait. Managers, rewards. Premium. I'm a bit lost right now. Shouldn't he be here? I think this might be glitched. Because he should be here, right? I'm not tripping. I think it's glitched. Because this has happened before, where the card should be here for me to see. And I cannot check out the card, which sucks. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're not going to be able to check him out. But um, if any of you guys pull him, make sure you guys tag me and I'll definitely take a look at it. Worst case scenario, once I make another My Faction video, I will just showcase the card once I'm able to see it. Because it's not letting me see it right now. But once I am able to see it, I will definitely showcase that Randy Orton card. Because I definitely want to see what his stats look like. You know what I'm saying? But will I be able to? No, no. Because he's not in here. So I wouldn't be able to see him. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and take a look at it once I can. And I'll make sure I'll showcase it in my next video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys got in the comment section and on Twitter. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.